hello my dear students <coughs> today we are going to start a new chapter of civics that is chapter number 9 struggle for equality in this chapter we will discuss about the various struggles took by the people for getting equality in our country so here we can see some pictures all sectors of people are there from business person to workers industry workers and farmers everything and also one book is there juthan do you remember the name of this book the students also there everything is there so let's start the chapter struggle for equality in this book you have read about people like kanta the ansari melani and sopna the thread that connects all of these lives is they have been treated unequally what do people do when they face such in inequalities history is full of example of persons who have come together to fight against inequality and for issues of justice do you recall the story of rosha park in chapter 1 so in this book we found various people's names and if we see everyone's life they struggle for the equality they struggle for the society they struggle for their own so by this we can understand then all the indians those who face inequality they struggle for that now the indian constitution recognizes all indians as equal before the law and states that no person can be discriminated against because of their religion sex castes or whether they are rich or poor our constitution recognizes that everyone is equal in the eyes of law there is no discrimination among the sex among the religion among the caste or rich and poor all adults in india have the equal right to vote during the election Uh, when you become 18 years then you all have the right to give the vote power over the ballot box has been used by people to elect or replace their representatives as we call the cm prime minister ministers mp mla all are selected by elected by us we we the people give vote and the person who get most of the vote he he is he will become our representative so and our representative is running our nation but these feelings of equality that the ballot box provides because the boot of one person is a good as that of another does not extend to most people's lives as you have read the increasing privatization and health service and the neglect of government hospitals have made it difficult for most most poor people like kanta hakim so as we give the equal uh, vote for all the representatives but we are not getting equal facilities from the government so just like uh, the rich person will go to the private hospital and he can treat in very well manner and but the poor person will get will go to the uh, government hospital and there is no not much facilities are available so because due to this they are facing tremendous kind of problems poverty and the lack of resource continue to be key reason why so many people live in india are highly unequal the highly inequality is comes from the poverty and lack of resource because probar in india there are more than uh, nowadays more than 140 million people are living but can you imagine if all the people were uh, rich then there were there was no problem because here they are most of the people are under the property they are uh, living in the um, probar under the property line so that is 
that is the main reason and one more and uh, one another reason lack of resources so just like uh, with the people of um, barak belly also with the people of assam also not getting all the facilities to uh, the uh, as the people of mumbai delhi kolkata people are getting it is because of the resources next discrimination on the basis of person's religion caste sex and another significant factor for why people are treated unequally in india in today's uh, india also there are various types of discrimination are happening on the basis of religion on the basis of caste just like upper caste people are not allowing uh, in every work um, lower caste people lower caste people can make the food but after making that if they touch the food then they are, then the upper caste people will not eat so how which type of discrimination which type of inhumanity it is people are um, what should i say people are discriminating among the religions also among the sex also i mean uh, boys are more valuable girls are less valuable these types of things are happening in our society after the independence um, almost 100 years of independence struggles for equality throughout the world in every community village city and town you will find there are some people who are known as the res uh, respected because of the fight for equality these people may have stood up against act of discrimination that they faced or which they witnessed or they may be well respected because they treated all people with dignity and therefore and are therefore trusted and called upon the resolve to resolve issues in the community so there are several persons we will find in the in the history in the um, news also they are getting much respect for fighting for the equality just like bear ambedkar also fight for us there are so many people who fight who fought for us and for the equality of our uh, common people and people are also giving them much respect so next the tawa mats sang so from this paragraph i shall discuss in the next class and from up to that much is your today's class and today i want to give you one homework and that is what does the constitution of india recognize for all the indian people regarding the equality the question i am saying again what does the constitution of india recognize for equality up to that much on the question in two ways i ha i told you two question but the answer is same the indian you can see there the indian constitution recognizes all indians as equal before the law and state that no person can be discriminated against because of their religion sex caste and whether they are rich or poor up to that much is your answer you have to write it on a copy and send it to me that is your homework up to that much is today's class and in the next class i will complete your sst course thank you